morning, everyone. Welcome back to North Dakota Today. So you can keep your heart healthy in a variety of ways, and one is definitely being active. So Jessica is with us with the American Heart Association to tell us a little bit more. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for joining us. So first, tell us about the American Heart Association. Yeah, so what we do, what we say our mission is, is um, building a, being a relentless force for a world of longer, healthier lives. And yeah. really what that translates to is uh, focusing on heart health. Um, what we do is we fund heart and stroke research locally, oh. right here in Fargo even. Um, we advocate for CPR. We um, work with kids in our youth programs on heart health programs, ways to be healthy, ways to give back. And we advocate for things like access to healthy foods, access to health care, yeah. knowing your numbers, and just taking care of your heart in general. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. So what is the importance of heart health? Um, I mean, it's super important. Uh, heart disease is the number one cause of death in the United States. Yeah. I mean, a one in three people will die from heart, some form of heart disease. Um, but the kind of the crazy number with it is that like 80% of it is preventable just oh, by wow. lifestyle changes and knowing your numbers. Um, and so that's where we focus. We do all this research. We fund all these different projects and we advocate for health um, just to try and lower that number and save some lives. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And do you want to get into how we can prevent that? Yeah, absolutely. So. At the AHA, we have something we call Life's Essential Eight. So it's really eight main steps that you can take to um, have a healthy heart. Um, so some of those are, one of the tough ones is getting enough sleep. Um, oh. So that's one we just added, right? Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I think that's hard for everybody, but between seven and nine hours is really okay. important for yeah. your heart health. Um, maintaining a healthy weight, um, eating healthy snacks. Um, I brought some with me, like a banana is such an easy healthy snack. Oh yeah. Um, and then almonds are a great healthy snack. These are heart check verified um, and they come in all different flavors. Um, drinking a lot of water. I yep. know that's hard for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Like I know people who set reminders on their phones, but oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, like I brought a, get a good reusable water bottle. I put lime and strawberries in the sun. Oh, so wow. okay. that makes it so much easier to drink water throughout yeah. the day. Um, knowing your numbers. So cholesterol, blood sugar, and blood pressure are the main ones that we we encourage people to know and. Um, like a blood pressure monitor like that, you can get on Amazon for as little as twenty dollars. Oh, so wow. even okay. if maybe you don't have access to healthcare or um, don't have a primary doctor, I mean, you can still there are ways to still check those numbers too. Yeah. Um, so those are kind of our main ones, and then getting exercise is such a yeah. big one. Um, we say thirty minutes a day for adults, mm -hmm. and then um, stopping smoking. Smoking is such mm, a big factor yep. when it comes to heart disease. Um, so those are really the main eight ways that people can maintain a healthy heart. Yeah, yeah. and they're pretty basic. I would say yeah. that most people do understand, like living a healthy lifestyle, drinking more water, yeah. right? And I know that um, actually on my iPhone and on many people's iPhones, you can set bedtimes, like yeah. where your phone will go into do not disturb mode um, when you set the bedtime, and yeah. then it'll kind of give you a little reminder of like, you should be going to bed, like yeah. get your eight hours and everything. And I actually, I have mine on. So I definitely think that that is really helpful. Um, so you said that almonds are heart health checked. Yes. Can you go into that a little bit more and like maybe yes. some examples of foods that are heart health checked? For sure. So if you're walking through the grocery store, say you're at Hornbacher's and you're looking down the aisles, um, there is a little mark on some of these food that will say smart snacking or mm -hmm. heart health verified and they have a little heart in the corner. Um, so those foods have been recommended by the American Heart Association as being beneficial for your heart health. Oh. So examples would be almonds, um, Cheerios, there's certain types of like beans and yeah. fruits, things like that. And I mean, they're all over the place. So if you just keep an eye out for that little red heart check or red mm -hmm. heart in the corner. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I was going to say Cheerios is the first ones that come yeah. to mind. And I yep. love Honey Nut Cheerios. It's my favorite breakfast. Same. So then you said that this is about $20 on Amazon. Yeah. Um, so how do you work it? Is it pretty easy? It's so easy. Um, so actually, these are these are home monitors. So um, you can buy them. Again, they're available at Walmart, Target, okay. Amazon, and they are so affordable. But you just put the cuff on and then push the button. And the important part is to be um, have your feet flat on the floor okay. and be calm and still while it's taking your blood pressure. And a lot of times these uh, may not be 
fully accurate when you buy them. So you can oh. take them to a local clinic and they will sync them up for accuracy for you wow. for free of charge. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Um, so uh, these are really important. There are um, blood sugar monitors you can buy too. I mean, if you don't have access to care, yeah. um, but knowing those numbers are so important. Mm -hmm. High blood pressure is considered a silent killer. Um, okay. It contributes to heart disease. It contributes to stroke. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and there are a lot of ways to manage it really easily and effectively. Same with blood sugar. Um, change in diet is such an important way to control those. So yeah, yeah it's a really easy way to just take charge of your health. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. All right, and then another thing is that um, exercise will definitely help with your health. What are the details of your guys' heart walk? Yes, okay, so the heart walk is Thursday, uh, July 20th. It will be at Urban Plains Park, okay. uh, which is right over by the Shields Arena. Um, it goes from five to 7 p.m. So what it is, it's really a celebration of heart health. What mm -hmm. we do is we support people who our heart and stroke survivors. We honor people that have passed away from heart disease okay. and stroke. And we really advocate and teach people ways to be heart healthy. Um, we have a 5K walk, it's very accessible. Um, and we encourage people, if you can't do the full 5K, come out and walk for five minutes. Or if yeah. you can't walk, just come out and join us. Um, we have a lot of patients that are going through cardiac rehab or may have a disability from a stroke. Okay. And so if they can't walk, it's okay. We just yeah. want you out there celebrating with us. We, you'll hear survivor stories. You'll hear um, from local physicians about heart health. There will be fun and games, drinks and uh, healthy snacks and music and all the fun stuff. Yeah, so, yeah, that sounds great. It sounds like a great community event. Definitely yeah. go out and support that. So thank you so much for telling yeah. us about it. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Absolutely. All right, coming up after the break, Dr. Hansen is back in studio to help parents figure out a healthy summer schedule for their students at home. That's coming up.